passing in review. Our commander of airmen is Technical Sergeant Marcus Howard. Military drill and ceremonies NCO, 331st Training Squad, hometown Sarah Vista, Arizona. The A Squadron Commander is Technical Sergeant James Grant, Military Training Instructor, 326 Training Squadron, hometown Orangeburg, South Carolina. Warrior Flight 107 from the 321st Training Squadron, Flight Box, Staff Sergeant Michael Walt, hometown Newton, New Head up! Honor 
Light 117 from the 326 Training Squadron, led by Staff Sergeant Joshua Gaffney, hometown Moralton, Arkansas. Warrior Flight 118 from the 326 Training Squadron, led by Technical Sergeant Kelly Ford, hometown Annapolis, Maryland. Musical support for this morning's ceremony has been provided by the 737 Training Group's Drum and Bugle Corps, 322nd Training Squadron, Flight B-131 and Flight B-132. These flights are performing today under the direction of Staff Sergeant Adam Bratz, hometown Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. These trainings are also in basic military training, but have been hand selected to perform for ceremonies of this type. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the playing of the United States Air Force song.
We would like to take a moment to congratulate all of our squadron honor graduates as well as their families. Basic military training honor graduates distinguish themselves by being ranked in the top 10% of all airmen graduating in their class. The exceptional personal dedication, integrity, service before self, and sustained excellence these airmen display throughout basic military training earned them this outstanding distinction. As the airmen march forward for the open enlistment, we would like to thank the families and friends who are here in support of the airmen graduating today. Your words of encouragement help motivate these airmen through eight weeks of basic military training. On behalf of the United States Air Force and Air Force Basic Military Training, we extend our thanks to the many families and friends of America's airmen for the support of your airmen and the greatest air power the world has ever known. Throughout here today. 
thank you for your training and the teaching and being the very best possible role models that you could possibly be for our new young recruits. I know it is difficult and long duty, but we thank you for it. And you will be rewarded because these young people will go forward and they will make you extremely proud in their careers. I know you've made great sacrifices, and again, thank you for a job very well done. <laughs> and now to our airmen. Congratulations, one and all. You have completed a very rigorous, basic military training program, and you have earned the title that you will have today, and that is, of course, airman. Remember, over eight weeks ago, you arrived here as citizens. <clears throat> today, you will begin to serve our nation as extraordinary airmen. Now, this is a very significant accomplishment in your life, and I know that your friends and your family we're very, very proud of you. The lessons that you have learned from our core values, and please remember them always, integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all that we do. And from the Airmen's Creed, which you'll recite in a moment, you'll serve well throughout your Air Force career and in your life. So on behalf of the United States Air Force, please know how proud and excited we are for you. Thank you for becoming part of our Air Force family. I have enormous confidence in you. I have enormous confidence in the future of our Air Force as I look into uh, your faces. Our Air Force, I know, will be in good hands. Now, I just have one important question. Are you ready to join the ranks of the world's greatest airmen? <laughs> The Honorable James will now administer the oath of enlistment. Now raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. I state your name. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And that I will obey the orders of the President of the United States. And that I will obey the orders of the President of the United States. And the orders of the officers appointed over me. And the orders of the officers appointed over me. According to regulations and the Uniform Code of Military Justice. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Airmen, and welcome to the greatest Air Force. Thank you, Secretary James. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing as our newest airmen recite the Airmen's Creed and remain in place for the departure of our official party. I am an American airman. I am a warrior. I have answered my nation's call. I am an American airman. My mission is to fly, fight, and win. I am faithful to a proud heritage, a tradition of honor, and a legacy of valor. I am an American airman, guarding the freedom and justice. My nation's sword and shield, a century and avenger. I defend my country with my life. I'm an American airman, wingman, leader, warrior. I will never leave an airman behind. I will never call to Thank you. Please be seated. 